Hola, El Pilotos. This is the very beginning of this match. There is a six-member squad on our side. The robot you see driving is Mr. Tinkwink of Ghost Killers. And the guy you see in the very, very similar-looking bushy behind him is me. <laughs> I get to watch myself play from his perspective. So, you know, this one the same almost exact robot here. That's me over there. I'm dashing in on the one side because there's no point in everybody coming in on the same side, right? He's going to come over here and sneak around this side. I'm over on the other side. We both have the same bushies. I don't know if they're the same level or that, but they're running the same pretty much. Right out. I had to back out because this guy was coming after me. So, I came up behind him. <clears throat> We're going to get an interesting thing land here in a second. He's facing the wrong way to see it, but you see it there? Right there. Yep, so it's right here in a second. Oh, it's out there. Guys. So I'm sort of following behind him. we got a whole series of tough ass robots. We've got a Bushi over there. I can't tell what that is. I just dashed over to deal with it. I'm not very good with the dash in that. So, whenever I feel like I'm being threatened, I just dash in a direction and look for another target. <laughs> Whether I, I think I survived this, but I don't remember. I think at some point they got me. So he's back. I must still be over there somewhere. Let's see if I can see where I'm at here. The downside to watching these things on YouTube is the, the quality isn't quite as good. Shield's taking a while. I don't think I ever realized the shield on me regenerated so fast. The thing I love about fighting those is, is if you can't see the weapon, the weapon can't shoot you. Never come on this side of them though. That's what I'm saying. There you go. That'll work. I don't know. Ah, it's working so good. That'll work. I don't even know where I'm at here. There I am. I'm coming in. So they must have taken me out of that one. So I got the shotgun boot for now. I took out whoever's back there and I'm hanging out with this dude. Yeah. Looking like a bushy. He just kind of hangs out behind me here, which is probably pretty smart. But he could have maybe, although not knowing what's in the field here. And actually, I think something, yeah. I think that thing right there. See what it is? See what it is? See what happens? And you notice how I dashed up there? As soon as I noticed him zip up into the air, I dashed my boots and was behind that wall and went invisible. <laughs> and he was kind of caught out in the open without me making anything to do about it. And he tried turning sideways to get his shield to it, but it just didn't work out for him, so. I forget what he comes in next with. <clears throat> oh, yeah, this is good. And this is the kind of shit I love to see out there, pilots. I love to see you in a, in a tier one... Once he up, he's up against that. Yeah, so when those go up in the air and they go invisible, once they're back down on the ground, they're really, really vulnerable. And they're not really that tough. So they really, really need to stand behind something until they can go up into the ground. He's trying to figure out what's going on over there. And got a hunter up there. Nothing too severe. I'm always surprised to see those robots here. So the Yamabushi's sitting up there. That's just a dumb place to be. I don't know what he's doing up there. I mean, he's like out in the open for everybody to shoot at. I guess he wasn't getting shot at by that many people. I really wanted this guy's blood, man. So watch this next one. This is good. It was a surprising pick for me. I thought he'd go in there with something a bit tougher than this. But watch what happens. Because you think this isn't so tough. But these little predators, man, they'll surprise you. I'm not sure what he's got on him. I don't know if they're 350s. I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe a shotgun up top. I think. And this shotgun up top plasma everywhere else, hard to say. Tell me down below what you got on this thing, man. That's a little freaking monster. He's good at targeting. Keeping his, keeping his weapons firing at some damn buddy. Stand behind cover. You can't 
They can't shoot at the enemy if you don't have a robot to shoot them in, so don't take damage if at all possible. And I'm not sure who took that out. It might have been him. <laughs> it's some nice work, that's for sure. You're just driving in with this thing, man. He's like, show me a target, show me a target, man. I want to go find it. That's all there is to it, guys. You get a lot of good information watching pilots like this play. It'll teach you how to play really, really good. So check out his channel, Tink Wink. Well, I'm sure I'll try and link it and all that good stuff. How you do it below and all that funny things. See you at the beacon. Crowbot out.